So I studied the MSc in economics and the reason I chose to do that was because I did the BSc economics here at Queen's and it was a really good experience um, and what I learned from that was that they have a very strong economic history field which few universities have but few universities even that are actually good at and Queen's being one of them. So the reason I thought I would like to continue doing that in the master's program because it tailors to your needs in the uh, second semester. So you can do topics in economic history or topics in economic policy or theory. So I chose to do history because it's what I really enjoy doing. Things I enjoyed most about the course are um, the how personal the teaching can get. So we were in a small class, so it meant that it was less just being lectured and more engaging with the lectures about the material and engaging with your fellow classmates as well because it was a small knit course of people who really wanted to be there doing the same interests as you. Um, and then you get to experience the Queen's seminars as well, so they bring you along to all the cutting edge frontier research that goes on within the management school and guest lectures or guest speakers that come from without. And you get um, pushed into seeing the inside experience of how people do research and then you can take that back into your course to help you develop your own research ideas as well. Um, the skills I've learned on the course are um, time management, um, so the course is quite heavy but it gives you good experience with juggling a lot of different things at once which I didn't really have before. Um, it also gives you good skills in critical thinking so a lot about the course is challenging um, what you're being taught, thinking critically about um, what you're being shown, about your own research, about the course material um, to develop your own independent thinking process. Plans after the Masters are to pursue a PhD in economics here at Queen's as well. So the Masters showed me a lot of skills about developing your own research and um, the skill strengths of Queen's itself and I wanted to pursue a PhD in economic history and Queen's been one of the few places that that's actually feasible and good to do it in so I thought I would continue on and the masters just showed me that Queen's has a very strong economic history program um, to develop from so I thought I would do my PhD here because I've already learned a lot from the masters and from the undergrad advice to someone studying who wants to study Queen's would be to consider what field they would like to study in because Queen's has strengths in policy in theory and in history um, or even just to go speak to some of the lecturers because they're more than happy to engage with prospective students who want to either do the masters or a PhD. The thing that surprised me most about um, studying at Queen's is the that is the uh, research process itself. So I didn't know much about research coming into Queen's from the undergrad and their uh, bi-weekly and also weekly um, seminars have really helped me understand the research process. But the most surprising thing has been just how that process works and how um, even very prominent speakers seem to be sometimes in a position to you where they're still not sort of sure where to go with their work, which is which makes me feel a lot better about my own research because if I'm ever stuck I can think then yeah I'm not the only one.